is solar punk. Solar punk is an aesthetic, but also so much more. It is an art movement, a philosophy, a literary genre, and an ideology. It can take the form of fashion, music, digital art, murals, books, and animation. Solar punk is a subgenre of science fiction that is a reaction to the current pragmatic dystopian media in the science fiction genre that can portray humanity's future in a very negative light. Unlike cyberpunk, solar punk is based on realistic technology to show an attainable future. Solar punk has an emphasis on sustainability and the human impact on the environment. The core of the solar punk movement is philosophy and politics. Solar punk is essentially counter dystopian. It presents an alternative, possible future rather than a pessimistic one. Some of the core ideals of solar punk are community, social justice, decentralization, ingenuity, and conservation. Solar punk is the integration of technology into communities that improve social, economic, and environmental sustainability. It is about creating communities that grow their own food and use thoughtful applications of technology. There is no quote-unquote right way to do solar punk, but diverse communities can embrace solar punk ideas and build their own clusters of independent revolutions. Solar punk is not similar to other environmental movements like eco-modernism. Eco-modernism argues that humanity should develop technologies that separate human involvement in the environment to preserve nature. But solar punk has humans be directly involved in conservation and preservation of nature. Solar punk tackles conservation in a different approach, convivial conservation. In a nutshell, convivial conservation lets nature flourish more freely by including people in it. In fact, convivial's literal definition is living with. Convivial conservation also allows nature to be a larger element of cities and integrates living spaces and ecosystems in a responsible and resourceful way. It also requires conservation to be organized more democratically. Those with the largest footprints will have to change the most. You may have also noticed the punk suffix in solar punk. The punk part of solar punk is about rebellion. It also shows the leftist perspective that solar punk has. While there is no direct political ideation in solar punk, it can embrace the need for a collective movement. Solar punk calls for racial and gender equality, but also anti-consumerism and anti-authoritarianism. Solar punk shows that the first step to mitigating climate change is knowing that there is a future that's possible and worth fighting for, regardless of the odds stacked against us. Some of the most beautiful, relaxing, and inspiring works that I've seen have been solar punk art and literature. If you're feeling depressed getting caught up in the current events of the world, just take a look at some solar punk visuals. Currently, solar punk is something extremely pertinent. There is so much division and arguing that it is necessary to have a positive outlook to unite people. While it is easy to get trapped in a constant echo chamber of negativity and doomerism, it is essential to remain conscientious and optimistic for there to be success in any movement. Most importantly, solar punk gives hope. It gives hope in a time where there is little hope surrounding climate change and inequality. I've left some links and artists in the description if you want to learn more about this topic or see some art.